Yes. All right, Chloe, congrats on the win. Tell me about that at bat there in the bottom of the eighth. Yeah, um, I owe that one to the dugout for sure. You know, we, we were really on the pitcher that game and just making sure that we were sharing a lot of good information. So just continuing to, you know, feed off our dugout, feed off of um, what we've learned and what we're seeing, just continuing to, you know, learn from the person in front of us too. So uh, it was a really exciting moment. Obviously, I knew that I had that opportunity um, in the, the, the bottom of the sixth inning to score that go-ahead run. So obviously, when it came back to me, I knew that I had a job to do and just to, you know, finish it off strong. Tell me about staying locked in. We were just talking off here. You fouled a pitch off your knee that not happened to you a couple of times. I mean, a lot of hitters maybe get thrown off by that, but you stayed locked in and drilled that ball. Just tell me about what you had to battle through, like some adversity in that at bat. Yeah, uh, like I said, you know, I was really locked in on the dugout and on Coach Bear. Uh, Coach Becca, they had really good plans for us going up to the plate today. So um, after just like a few solid hit balls, I knew that obviously I was due. Um, something was going to drop for me. So just continuing to push ahead, you know, after getting hit, just continuing to, you know, let that go past and move on to the next pitch as fast as possible. Stormy's number was called. She ties the game up with the two RBI in the sixth, and then she starts that rally with two outs, two strikes in the eighth inning yeah. to give you a chance eventually. Katie gets on with yeah. a hit. Just tell me about those two helping you, setting it up for you. Yeah, that's super huge. Obviously, passing the bat with two outs, that was that was a huge moment for them. Um, obviously, you know, three lefties in a row, that's it's a really good combo. It's a lot of speed going up there, so that was great to obviously see Stormy we come up with another huge hit. Um, Katie's always clutch with those little bouncy ground balls that everybody gets annoyed by, but you know, she's always she's always gonna come up clutch. Uh, Stormy was great to see her come off the bench and just be ready to go. That's exactly what we need from this team to go far this year. You made a big play defensively there with perfect throw to third base to get the runner out. Just take me through that play, because kind of, I felt that kind of helped change the momentum a little bit. Yeah, I just think obviously Kate was pitching a great game. You know, they're getting uh, just little blue pits. That's getting them on base, you know, just different positioning. So making sure that those balls through. Uh, when I saw it come to the outfield, I knew that I needed to make a good throw to get that girl out. Because obviously that could have been a huge moment for them as well if they would have scored that run. So just making sure we're playing lockdown defense, protecting the queen at all moments, and just continuing to protect the flex. You were in the hole there when Stormy came out with that first two out at bat. Just what was that at that mood like in the dugout at that moment there? Yeah, it was it was really cool. Uh, I felt really confident, obviously, going into my at bat. Um, even in the sixth inning, you know, when it didn't go the way I wanted to, I felt super confident with just, you know, Katie and Stormy getting it going. And then, you know, once again, when I when I was able to come up, they did it again. They made me feel really confident. They were, you know, just showing the way and just continuing to be super positive and cool, calm, and collected. And I knew that I needed to do the same for the team just really show that like seniority obviously three older girls are up there so just continuing to do that for our team as well speak on katie burge there i mean you know this of course the team's resident speedster ended up get ended up helping you know get on there and advance stormy yeah she obviously is always gonna she's always gonna come up clutch that's one of the big things that i've always said about katie she's you know always gonna come be a disruptor and that's what we've needed from her the last two years and you know just continuing to have her be that she's getting thrown in positions that she's not always playing all the time but you know that she's gonna give her full effort you know just continuing to remind her to just you know be calm be collected uh do what she does best and just making sure that she knows that we have her back What's the biggest thing you've noticed about these Big 12 players now that you're playing them, and how does it feel to now be the be the reason that UCF has clinched their first Big 12 series? Yeah, I mean, this is just a great feeling. Obviously, we know this is a bigger conference, but you know, we gotta act like we've been here before, and just continuing to hold our heads high no matter what the outcome is. Uh, just making sure that we we really show people that we belong here, and just continuing to move move that forward, and you know. Get this, get this series sweep tomorrow, and just continuing to make sure that all the all these other teams know that we're we're ready and we're gonna fight it all out. How good does it feel to get a close win like this? You know, you've been right so close in some of these games earlier. As the ball hasn't bounced your way, but this one did. They worked hard for it, but just how does it feel to get a walk off win here on your side? Yeah, I think just continuing to go with what I've got. Um, you know, knowing that it's it's I've been in this situation a couple times now this year, and just knowing that uh, those things are going to fall into place, you got to just keep going, keep your head down, know that your preparation is going to fall into place. So, just knowing what I've got in all, in my toolbox, and just continuing to help this team out and get us to where we want to go. What's the biggest difference between the UCF softball that started this season on opening day versus the one we're seeing right now, getting its first conference win in the Big Twelve? Yeah, I think that this team right now, we just have a lot of grit. We have a lot of will to want to want to win these games. We know that these are really huge. We know that we got to um, advance forward, continue to put pressure on these big 12 teams and the ranked teams and just knowing that momentum from this weekend is going to take us into the rest of the season. So just keeping our heads up and 
you know, making sure that we move on play by play. What does this team need to do to be able to get the sweep tomorrow? I think just continuing to keep our heads down, you know, knowing that we need to stick to a plan. I think we did a good job of that today. Just going at what we're being told and making sure that our defense is in the right spot. I think good things happen when we follow what we're supposed to do and uh, just, just keep going at it all seven innings and not letting up at all. Back during media day, we were introduced to your mysterious new motto, STW. And while you obviously you've sworn to secrecy, you can't tell what it is right now. Can you at least tell us if you feel like the team has, let, has lived up to that motto so far this season? Yeah, I think that we've had a lot of moments to obviously live up to that, but I think that it's going to come. I think that, you know, the first half of our season wasn't exactly what we wanted, and uh, I think it's just continuing to make sure that we fulfill that second, the second half of the season, and, you know, SCW, keep, keep going at it and making sure that we fulfill that and always protecting the plex no matter where we go. All right, awesome. Best of luck tomorrow, Thank you.